Hey everybody, it's Adrian from Zanza's Toys, and this is going to be a quick video, but I just had some good success with something I've wanted to do for a long time, and I'm just really happy and I really want to share it with all y'all. So, I'm a huge fan of the Tomy toys from the 70s and 80s, seriously, like, if anybody is watching this video and you worked at Tomy in, in the 70s or 80s, you're my hero. And this is a really good example. So, here's a music box that the bring along a song music box and it's a wind up no batteries or anything and if I hit play we get a very pretty rendition of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star now what's cool about this is not only does it have play and stop but you can eject and you get a tape right so it comes with two tapes that are double sided so one has Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and this old man, and one has London Bridge and Hickory Dickory Dock. And they only ever made two. And I think that's kind of like beautiful too. It's it's uh, very old school, right? Like today, this would be microtransactions and there'd be endless content packs and you'd probably have to connect to some server for it to play at all. But not with Tommy Toys from the 70s and 80s. All mechanical, uh, still works great 30, 40 years later, but the problem is, is I would like more music, right? So I got this this toy off eBay a while ago, and ever since I got it, I was thinking that it would be possible to print new tapes and have custom songs. So um, that's what I've done. So at least that's what I'm working towards. So what I've got is this. So it's not a song yet, but it's fully 3D printed. And just to show you that it does in fact work, a little bit. I'm gonna put this in like so, like so, and I'll hit play. Now you notice that sounds like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but it's not. It's uh, what I did is I just have ascending notes on one side and descending notes on the other. So if I flip this over, hopefully that's not the same side. So it goes up. Yeah. So what we've got here, as I'll just go ahead and open this up, is I've got two sides that print, print like this, flat on the bed. No support, uh, went together pretty easily. Oh, and I did print the axle separately, so this is, is separate. And the reason being that if you if you 3D print anything, you know that printing things narrow uprights, like in this orientation, is a great way for, to have them snap off. So uh, there's just a hole and a separate axle. And then the actual music disc is... You'll notice that this actually isn't really 3D printable on its own, so... Reason being that you would need a ton of supports to have this if that was the face down on the bed. So what I did is actually I just printed it in two halves. So this is this side is one with a flat surface, and this side is one. And then I just super glued them together. And honestly, it's working pretty well. So this is close, but the next steps are actually making some music. So this is this is just sort of like a test pattern. Sort of like the test patterns you used to see on broadcast television long, 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 long ago, but uh, it shows a lot of promise, and it does show that the gear meshes, and the, the wheel will turn, and I can make, uh, and FDM 3D printing is enough to actually trigger the notes f decently well. One of the teeth did break off, so I think I want to make the teeth a little bit thicker, but so far, this is showing a lot of promise. So, um, yeah, so that's about it. I, I just, I'm so happy that this is actually working and that I'll be able to make new music for this old, beautiful, wonderful old toy uh, that I just wanted to share with y'all. So the next steps are, I, I want to eventually get to the point where I can take a MIDI file and translate that into where these pegs go. I'm using OpenSCAD to place the pegs and I've got a module that just takes in uh, which note from you know inner to outer ring, there's eight notes, and uh, a zero to one number representing the degrees around, well, 
the amount around the axis, right? So uh, you just multiply it by 360. So there's a little bit of fiddliness to figure out and that the innermost note obviously has a lot less valid positions than the outermost note because the circumference is bigger. But uh, I think that's all doable, right? The, the key thing is could I print, could I make a fully 3D printed version that would actually play in the bring along a song toy? And it does. So I'm really happy about it. So that's about it for this video. Uh, I know I've been gone from videos for a long time, but I'm gonna try to get back into it. And uh, I hope everybody's been staying safe as we head in towards sort of a light in the tunnel. And as always, thanks so much for watching. And if you like this kind of content, please like, sub subscribe, leave a comment. Tell, tell me what, what music would you like to see in the Bring Along a Song? Is there is a song from your childhood that you think I should, I should make? Uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot. See you next video.